a lot of the songs that I write, they come from the heart. A lot of the songs that I write, they come from my brain. So you could kind of say that all the songs that I write, they're like, it's, it's like a biological thing. Like, it, it sprouts like a flower from, a, from just a seed, like a little tiny seed. It sprouts into a flower, and then photosynthesis happens. And then from there, like, all kinds of crazy shit happens. It just blossoms into a pretty fucking flower. Fucking flowers, like, seriously. My songs are fucking flowers. I can't believe that. They, they, once they take on a popularity, it, it's like a flower business. Like, all of a sudden, everybody wants to buy flowers, and they're just buying all the fork flowers that are available. It's just forking here, forking there, forking everywhere. Like, fork you, fork me, go fork yourself. Oh, fork it, God. <laughs> Forking. I know you know what I mean. Because I know what I mean. And I know you're on the same wavelength. So you must know what I mean. What I mean right now is that the fork experience is an experience unlike any other. Because you're experiencing it right now. And if it wasn't for me, talking to you in this video at this moment you wouldn't fucking know what to do and that my friends is your lesson of the day goodbye and be awesome to each other or else This whole fork thing began in the year 2005 when I officially coined the band, well, the project at the time, known as Fork. Basically, it was just me writing all kinds of material that just wasn't working for anything else that I wanted it to work for. <laughs> so I made it work for something else. That's when the world received the Get Forked Up EP. This release was the first official fork release, which was released back in 2008. Now I want people, when people think about Miami, I want them to think about music and not just my music I want them to think about all the music that's coming out from Miami I want it to be the, the one that opens the floodgates into people looking into the, the Miami music scene with interest so that way everybody gets their fair share like a Cuban Robin Hood, you could say. That is my goal. The whole writing process for this album is going to be a little bit different because it may or may not feature a revolving door of musicians with the exception of myself. So, I'm going to try to add a drummer soon. We'll see how that goes. Maybe he'll stay, maybe he won't. There's only one way to find out.
so the date today is Friday the 13th, June 13th, 2014. Now, where I last left off in this video, my band, Fork, had made sure that it was on the right track. It made sure that it was on the right track to becoming a full band. Unfortunately, my manager is an asshole. And not long after that first video was filmed, he jumped onto a plane straight to New York. He didn't come back until now. And as you can see, since the last video, I've aged a bit. I'm a little bit more, uh, beardy. But, that's beyond the point. The point is that due to the fact that Fork does not include any other band members besides myself, I have no choice but to go ahead and write the album and record the album and do everything myself. Why? Because that's how life is. Now the cool thing is, you get to see my full potential on this album, because I'm doing everything. It's weird. I'm used to having other people, like, doing shit with me, but now, it's just me. Life is a crazy thing. It is. Now, moving along. I already have a handful of songs. They are going to appear on my debut album for Full Pilot Entertainment. And I've already decided that this title will be called Beer and Loathing. Now originally it was going to be called Beer and Loathing in Miami because I gotta represent, yeah. But I decided that maybe Miami Miami, it should just be part of it spiritually, not, like, verbally. So, I decided to just simply title this album, Beer and Loathing. And guess what? It's gonna be fucking awesome, if I can ever finish it. But you know what? I will finish it, because I made a promise to you. Yes, you. I promise you that I will finish this album, Beer and Loathing, coming soon to the internet near you.